It's a violent white supremacy group known for conducting training exercises with camo and guns. Today, the FBI announced four members of Adam Waffen were busted in Texas, Arizona, Washington, and Florida. Today, the FBI took an important step in countering what is seen as the top domestic terrorism threat facing our nation today, racially motivated violent extremism. The FBI revealing the four men were threatening journalists online, including reporter Chris Ingalls of King TV in Seattle. The two men we're talking about had tactical gear, assault rifles. Who has done a number of reports on Adam Waffen. The FBI said the threats went beyond freedom of speech, including sending an image to journalists' homes that said, die pigs. The subject arrested here this morning and the other subjects arrested around the country posed a legitimate and escalating threat to anyone who dared counter or try to expose their activities. While there were no arrests in Colorado, a key figure of Adam Waffen lives in Denver, as we reported in November. James Mason, a neo-Nazi whose writings have inspired Adam Waffen members, claims he doesn't condone violence, but said this when we spoke to him. A lot of people take your words and they're acting violent based on your words. If they were acting on my words, they wouldn't be doing the things they're doing, throwing their lives away. I say, and here I am talking to you, but yeah. I say, don't do it. But if you're gonna do it, for God's sake, do it right. The FBI said today it continues to focus on groups like Adam Waffen, meaning there could be more arrests soon. Jeremy Hohola, Nine News. Um,